Hey everybody, it's Stefan from Platinum Features Painting, aka Paint Boss. Make sure you like and subscribe us on YouTube. Today we're with Roland and Galen. We're going to show you a little garage door hack, how to do it, how to do it quickly and efficiently. Roland's going to shoot these with a nice little trick. I think you guys will enjoy. So what we have here is we're doing casing and door. So you can see where we set our line. Uh, we have stucco. So anytime you got stucco, it's better to be safe. We're painting on this edge right here so that we have no blowouts because when you're shooting with 3,000 pounds of pressure, uh, that's always a risk and we don't feel like doing any. Okay, so we're going to start off on this single door. Inside we have Galen. He's stepping on the inside of the door, pushing it down so we expose that flange. Alrighty. So today Roland's using a 310 on this door casing. We're doing that because it's a little windy today. We're keeping control uh, of our overspray. This is uh, the way we do it with about as limited masking as possible. So he's shooting all of his corners. Can you step on her? Alright, so inside right now, Galen's stepping on the inside track of that garage door. That pushes it down so that we get that part where the rubber flange goes. This is what a lot of painters run into. It's called a stretch mark on a garage door. By stepping on it, you force it down. see he shields that bottom that exposes that edge it's a good little cheat that one came up with okay pull your paper to the bottom all right so as they're pulling that they're going to pull their paper we got the masking so it doesn't uh, rush underneath the door Yeah, close it down, bro. Alright. Now we got that flange off. And now he'll continue. So now we got all those edges done. We're getting the jam. Very little overspray because we're rocking that 310 fine finish. And see, as he's doing that. The advantage is of lifting up that garage door like that, I know it seems little, but whoever did this one before, it's a pretty common problem. You see all these sides wow. here because this is the rubber flange that protects the door and you can never get the paint back in there. So once the paint dries, it always exposes what we call a stretch mark on a garage door. So that's where came up with the idea to shoot them raised a little bit. Just let you get behind that edge. Real nice. Rolling, what pressure are you at, brother? Are you about 75%? Yep. That's exactly 75, three quarter. Three quarter pressure on a 310 tip. Very nice. Up. <coughs> Beautiful. All right. Now All remember, we got Galen inside, so <laughs> so you don't get those flanges sticking to the door. You go ahead and lift the door. That's why you can really load paint on a garage door, because as you can see, it's going to be laying horizontal. There's going to be no runs in that. That's going to let all those edges dry nicely, and uh, the client will be able to close his door. Uh, later on tonight, everything will already be dried up. All right, door number two. Step on her. See how that takes away that stretch mark up there? That's what makes this way so genius, they figured out. Okay, 
You can see how controlled that overspray is. That's why yep. we can get away with just that 12 inch. Pull your paper. <coughs> so from old to new again, this is a really cost effective way to dress up your house. You can see these were all pretty dirty. So on these, we scuff sanded them all down, we dust them with a dusting brush. So when we put on our new coat, it's gonna be all nice and pretty. See how he pushes in that door? That way he's getting a little bit of the black fox in there. So we don't have any of those stretch marks. It's nice too when you're 6'5", you know. You don't need a ladder to do any of that. Nice advantage. Now this one for all you homeowners out there, if this is a weekend project for you guys, this garage door actually had a grid system. Up in the upper windows, you can simply just snap those out and go for more of a modern look. So there it is, old to new, all nice and pretty. And again, we put them up there to dry, so they're all laying flat, going in for door number three. All right, there's the pivotal part. Getting the casing first, down to the corner. You guys can see what he's doing in the corner, he's limiting that overspray, shielding himself. You see up there that stretch mark? Now he's gonna make all those stretch marks go away. See, we're running our pump over here. This is our trusty dusty 490 Ultimate MX2. We got our super paint right there. Got a little Mandor for them done. All right. Now the trick of the trade, they lift up the door. I think he's gonna go ahead and shield that bottom. Hey, Rolly. Alright, so this is a nice little nine minute how to paint three garage doors in under nine minutes. So pulling that paper, giving us that nice line right there. Kind of do this as you go so that latex doesn't uh, cure up with that tape and end up peeling the paint off of the garage door. So now Galen's in there, slamming it down, and now finishing out the rest of it. It's nice with that 310 fine finish, you can really 
control the amount of paint coming out of the gun right there, limiting our overspray quite a bit. You can see how clean that paper is. You could never really do that with a 415. 311 probably be my next if you got really, really thick paint, but we always love the 310s for this. All right, very nice, cool, Roland. Man. Very nice. Raise them up to dry. Good job, fellas. A little 10 minute. All right, so for that, we actually ended up doing three garage doors. Today we're using Super Paint Satin in Black Fox, one of my favorite exterior paints. And looks like we went through about two and a half gallons. So we'll leave the customer about a quart, quart and a half to uh, do touch-ups. Looks like we got that measurement good. Alrighty. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for watching and subscribing. Leave a comment below if you think uh, you like that little trick we did. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, guys.